Hey everybody, Jimmy with the Triple C Collective here for another unboxing. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Armored Last Ronin from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Last Ronin, uh, that newest comic uh, run that they've done. They just wrapped that up and started printing out uh, the hardcover of all five individual issues together. So yeah, this is great. Um, the box art was done by Ben Bishop, who is one of the current artists and stuff on Teenage Mutant Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and specifically the Last Ronin stuff. So this is really great. Um, a lot of people might have been able to go ahead and get some signed and sketched ones from him. This is not one of those. I ended up winning mine along with the unarmored one um, from one of Lee's uh, games in the lair. So like I, I got both of them. <laughs> from that so i i loved it it was really great i love that i have them and i'm ready to go ahead and dive in and share this with you um last run in the comic itself one of my favorite comics uh i loved it i um it it, it was just awesome i i just loved it uh, i'm not gonna like dive in or whatever to it um but it was great it was beautiful uh let's check out that a little bit more of the box art here these sides here and like with this one here showing last run in one the they they're gonna build a like uh a piece uh like a side art piece like they do that a lot with collected editions um the one that really sticks out to me is frank miller's sin city uh, if you got any of those like trade paperbacks a lot of those he uh does artwork on the spines that also like go together when you have the complete collection that way so when you get the complete collection of turtles like this is they're showing you this is the first one here we also got this image here and then once you get the like armored one yeah see that's the box art with the armored one and stuff and yeah it's it's uh pretty great it's pretty awesome and sorry this is actually probably how it does it go like that okay yeah so it goes like that it's awesome i love it i love this so much but that's the unarmored one we'll get to that in another video so let's go ahead and dive in i've been talking for way too long and not showing you enough of the figure There he is. Ah, there it is. Oh, okay. So that is neat. The hood to him here. It uh, you you kind of hook it up here. There's a, like you would any of the uh, almost any of the uh, bandanas. Because there's a little hole in the back here that I don't know if I'll be able to really kind of illuminate. Yeah, there's a little hole back there that this little guy, that little thing right here, can you even see it? Yeah, that guy goes right into the back there. Oh, that's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. I was like, what is going on here at first? Um, because when I was taking them out, the thing fell off, and I was like, oh, God, did I just break it? No, you did not break it. It is meant to come off. But check out this figure. Check him out. He's so good. That's the hood, and that's the, like, angry, growling mouth that I have on there. There's another head that has, like, a closed mouth on it. Um, this is really great, though. I just, ah, oh, man. I love this figure so much. I love this comic so much. It is so good. And ah, this might be this might be my favorite figure of the year so far. I mean, a lot of people have been saying it and holding it here in my hands. It's up there. This is such a great figure. I love it so much. Let's go ahead and show you some of these accessories we got going on here. We've got, like I said, the bonus head, the extra head, which is sweet. Oh, 
open mouth. Yeah, check them out. We also get the really awesome, like, uh, night vision. Not night vision, but like his night gla goggles and stuff that he uses. That's so great. We also obviously get um, all of the weapons that we've come to know for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We get, he has, you know, a Sai, Katana, the Katana Sheath. Right? Doesn't the whole thing go in there? Yeah. We've got uh, Donatello's bow. You know. Michelangelo's nunchucks, Leo's katana, Raphael's Psy. We've got all of the weapons that we would come to know and expect. And then, of course, the katana sheath. Such a cool thing. I love when they give us little uh, awesome sheaths for, like, any of the swords, really. Um, if I'm being honest, I just think that those things are just great. I love... Um, I love a good sheath for my sword, I guess. Um, <laughs> and let me put the side back there. We get some awesome little... These are going to be difficult to get out, but... We get four... Ninja throwing stars. I don't know, yeah. We got two of them that I'll show you right there. We also get the little... Um, ball like thing here that's just that's an accident waiting to happen so I'm not even going to take that out but it's in there um, let me get this cut in here and then finally we get the little um so arm like staff I forget what this is exactly called but I love it it's great um and again, we get a multitude of hands, and we also get a uh, a claw, like um, grapnel, basically, like for him. And again, let's just do this one more time. Here is the armored last Ronin figure from the comics. It's so good. It looks so beautiful. I just love it so much. Look at this. It's so good. It's just so good. Check it out. All right, I want to thank you all for joining me here for this unboxing. I'm Jimmy with the Triple C Collective. Hope you all stay safe. Cowabunga!